Okay, let's keep going. So different lobes have different functions. Occipital lobe, its main function is visual function, uh, vision. So the, the object from the outside gonna reach your retina. From your retina will reach your occipital lobe be analyzed. Your parietal lobe, uh, sensory function, like your somatosensory, is in your parietal lobe. And you have the whole somatosensory cortex in your post-central gyrus, and you have a whole body map analyze your body information. But when we look at the somatosensory cortex, we found it's not really proportional to your body size. You have a lot of neuron analyzed information from your face, especially your lips and your hand. So if we draw your body based on the somatosensory cortex, your body gonna look like this. And it's called homunculus. And this tells you your brain really favor your finger and your face. These are the sensitive body part because we put a lot of neurons analyze information from the face, from the finger, and not too much analyze information from your body, your leg. So your finger, your lips are sensitive body part. And it's not just a human, also through evolution we found animals similar. They put more neuron analyze information from the head than the body. Now in the frontal lobe, uh, important function, one important function is motor control. So your motor cortex is in your frontal lobe, in your pre-central gyrus. You also have a whole body map. You have more neuron control the muscle in the face, so we can have very complicated facial expression. You have a lot of neuron control the muscle, control your finger. So all these uh, muscles control your finger, they're small muscle, they have small motor unit and you can create a very complicated movement in your finger. Uh, but when we go to the, the body, the leg, all these are big muscle. So you don't have too many neurons control them. And they're all big motor units. So once this neuron fire, all the big muscle contract. So their muscle have different function. Like the body muscle, their function is to maintain your posture, create a big power so it can run. And your facial muscle, that create their job is creating complicated facial expression. And the finger muscle, their job is to create a very complicated moving pattern of your finger. So they, they have a lot of neuron control them. And your body muscles, your leg muscle, you don't have too many neuron control them. A similar concept uh, compared to your somatosensory cortex. And frontal lobe, uh, another function is high level reading and decision making. So this person, his name is Gage, he, he worked in a railroad company in the 19th century. And in the accident, the, the his colleagues triggered the explosive when he was checking those explosive. And so a big metal step, it moved in through the, uh, the, the cheekbone and moved move out. It completely knocked out his frontal cortex. And after the accident, he, he actually survived but they found he, he has no impairments of motor, language, somatosensory function. But he, we found uh, he, he made a lot of bad decisions and he showed very little emotion. And because of that, he, after the accident, even though his body function is totally fine, he could not keep his old job. So eventually he worked in the circus. He just take a metal staff and show people his hole. That's what he did for the rest of his life. So what's the function of prefrontal cortex? That's, it looks like it has no function, but that's the most important brain area in human. It's high level reasoning. And that's the frontal cortex, especially the prefrontal cortex. Make you think before you do. Make you think, okay, is it worth it or not? And the gauge, because he, had, he did not have the prefrontal cortex anymore, so he made a lot of wrong decisions in his life, and he could not keep any job because people could not trust him anymore. And that's the prefrontal cortex in your forehead. So high level reasoning function. And another story about the prefrontal cortex. In the 20th century, there's a surgery called lobotomy, and they would put the knife in through the, the orbit and what damage the prefrontal cortex. And their original intention is to treat patient with uh, anger management problem. So after this surgery, and um, people become very calm, 
So this surgery was very popular, and the, the surgeon who invented this surgery actually received Nobel Prize in the 20th century. And it took people a while to realize uh, after lobotomy, they, the patients have a serious side effect, so they don't do the surgery anymore. So again, what's the function of frontal lobe, a prefrontal cortex, high-level re-learning, decision-making function?